Hi, my name is Kalen Chalk. I am a concept artist working in video games and film, and today we are going to draw and paint a bike using Sketchbook Pro. So let's get started. Some of the tools that you're going to be using today is the pencil brush tool, the freestyle stroke tool, the line tool, and the oval tool. So the first thing we got to do is draw the bike from the side. This will help us figure out the proportions. So let's go down to our layer editor and click add layer. Then we are going to click and hold so the layer tools show up and we're going to drag to the right to rename layer. So let's bring this up here and then let's rename that side view and click OK. So let's select the line tool and what we're going to do is make sure that we select a darker color first than the background color by clicking on one of the colors from the Copic library and we're just going to draw the side view of this bike. This will help us with the proportions when we draw it in perspective. Now let's go to the oval tool. If you click and drag from the oval tool, it will drag from where you started. However, if you hold down Command and Shift, it will drag from the center and make you a perfect circle. Once we are finished figuring out the overall design and proportions of our bike, we will then create a new layer. On that layer, we will draw in a rough perspective grid so that we may draw our bike in perspective. Now that we are finished figuring out the overall side view of our bike, I am now going to click on the Move tool and simply drag and move it to the upper left hand corner so that it does not block us when we are drawing the perspective grid. Now let's create a new layer so we can begin to draw our perspective grid. So let's go to the Layer Editor and click on Add New Layer and then click and hold to go to the Layer Tools and go to Rename Layer and we're going to name that Perspective hit OK and then make sure that the line tool is selected and now we are going to simply begin to draw in a basic perspective grid. This will make it easier for us as we begin to draw the bike in perspective. Since we have already figured out the proportions now it's simply a matter of translating the side view into perspective. When creating the perspective grid, you do not have to worry about being 100% accurate. What's most important is that we get a general idea of how the bike is going to look in perspective. Now that we have finished drawing the basic perspective grid, we can now begin to do the rough drawing of the bike in perspective. So let's make a new layer. Let's go to the layer editor, click on add layer click and hold to bring up the layer tools, go to rename layer, and let's call this one the rough lay-in. And click OK. Now let's go to the perspective layer and let's lower the opacity. So make sure it's selected, click on the opacity slider, and simply drag it down to about 40%. This will make it easier when we're drawing on top of the perspective grid so we can see the bike. Now that we have finished that, we can now begin to do the rough drawing of the bike in perspective. Make sure the rough lay in layer is selected, make sure the pencil tool is selected, and the freestyle stroke tool is selected, and we can now begin to do a rough drawing of the bike in perspective. Because we have drawn the bike, from a side view and we have made a basic perspective grid, this will now make sure that it's easy for us that when we draw it in perspective 
that the proportions are accurate. Do not worry if your rough lay in drawing is not 100% accurate or if some of your lines are messy because later on we are going to take that layer and lower the opacity and create a new layer and draw detail on top of it. With that new detail layer we can fix any problems that might have occurred early on. Remember, because this is the rough lay-in phase, you can feel free to change the design any way you want. The side view and the perspective grid which is helping us figure out the proportions, but remember at any time, if you want, you can change the design of the bike to what suits you. Once we are finished doing the rough drawing of the bike in perspective, we will then take the rough lay-in layer and the perspective layer and we will merge them together. The reason why we are going to do this is because later we are going to need those extra layers to create the wheels using the oval tool. And also, it is good to merge layers when you are done with them so that way you do not accidentally draw on the wrong layer. The less layers, the better. Once I merge those two layers together, I am then going to use the Move tool to move the bike to the center of the screen. That way, it will make it easier for us to paint it. Don't worry if your circles or ellipses are not 100% accurate because later on we are going to use the oval tool so that we have accurate ellipses for our wheels. What's most important is that the proportions and the placement of the wheels are accurate in perspective.